everyone, welcome back to the Cazales Arcade. Today's video we're going to be featuring our restored centipede cocktail table. Well you heard them ladies and gentlemen. This is our restored centipede cocktail table. This thing came a long way from how you see it today. I'm going to try to find a couple of pictures and splice them in the video here. So yeah, this thing came a long, long way. Let's start off by doing our top to bottom. Replace this glass, brand new glass, and these corner pieces that secure the glass, I sanded them down and resprayed them. Moving on downward, I've added light green T-molding all around the, the top section. There's even some on the back side here. Now I've usually seen people only do the, mostly I've seen the team molding just running this way, but I decided to do the top because I think, in my personal opinion, I think it just gives it a little bit more panache, if you will. But yeah, uh, let's move it on. We did the, the underlay. It's a one piece underlay and it goes, directly under the glass you just slide it in and position it and boom you're done I also went ahead and sanded and painted these bolts here moving on downwards I replaced the coin door lamps coin door reject button lamps excuse me replaced both side control panels buttons trackballs they are the original trackball assemblies that I've cleaned the optical boards. Also sanded and painted those bolts there. Um, this framing here was all rusted. This is just a little dirty. I probably should have cleaned that before, but that was all rusty and cruddy and nasty and disgusting. Did the bolts here as well. And the monitor didn't work at all. It was actually not even installed in the unit. It was taken out and not working whatsoever. I had that sent out and repaired because I didn't know what the heck it was at first. It didn't even power on, so I didn't even know where to begin. I also had to get a replacement PCB because that one that came with this unit was in a frozen state once it was powered on. I used another monitor to plug in just to see what was going on with it. And my buddy Brad over at Brad's Arcades sourced me a used centipede board for a really decent price. So once again, thank you, Brad. Changed all the locks, put new locks as well as here. Of course, added our own keychains here the game plays really well except for I'm having currently an issue with player two now if any of you tech guys can help me out I think I have it localized actually I'm pretty sure I have it localized to the board all the wiring the continuity checks out the trackball assembly works on the other side but what's happening is I'm going left to right it works if I'm going down the cursor goes up if I press up, it goes up as well. So in both directions, it's going up. Now, upon some research, I learned that a couple of chips in the motherboard, one or two, could have gone bad. I just don't currently have a logic probe or the schematics to test it. So if anyone can source me the schematic, I can buy the logic probe. They're on Amazon. You can get one for like 20 bucks. Uh, that way I can figure out which chip is bad and replace it and uh, play, be able to play two players instead of just the one player. But I think she came out just truly fantastic. So uh, moving on, we'll we'll get you a little video of the gameplay going. So here you go. 
Okay, my assistant is here. He's got his quarter. He's about to uh, pop in his quarter. Don't forget to hit the player one start. Oh, that's the... <laughs> that flashing button under there, buddy. There you go. Looks like our volume is a little low. I'm going to have to adjust that volume. I suspect the player one control is a little bit off. It's a lot better than player two, so I'd really like to get these uh, chips repaired to figure out what's going on, but it's very playable right now, at least for the time being, on player one. Now bear in mind guys, this is his first time playing it since I fixed it, so he's doing rather well, I think. Like I said, I suspect those trackballs not to be working 100% either. Okay, this is it, do or die. almost had that free life but yeah that's it right there so far so good i mean cosmetically she's all set she's all done just got a couple issues to work out with these trackballs and we're going to be all set and ready to rock and roll so thank you very much for joining us take care and we'll catch you on the next video